Hello and welcome to the highlights of match 9 of the SRG Kashmir Premier League. It's Bark Stallions versus the Overseas Warriors. The toss was won by Shan Masood, the captain of Bark Stallions, and he wants to post a total on the board. And uh, that's uh, an exquisite shot by Shan Masood. Just lent into that a little bit straight from the bowler, and he obliges. <laughs> Oh, he's going straight. That's a beautiful shot. That works in every format. And uh, we saw this earlier today. The openers. That's the one we were talking about. Hitting the top of off stump. So well cut. Obliging. Zeshan's got a head back. That's a good nut. He's uh, been running in from ball one. And he gets. Bit of room, flashes the bat at it. Bat speed took care of uh, the fly, that's why it's carried over that man, it's short. It's beaten that man at point. It's just a question, as we've seen so often, if you just stray ever so slightly in terms of your line and length. Up ish, and then the fielder was too slow to move to his left. I don't know if he was ready for that or not. This has gone far, this has gone high, and it's gone all the way. Gone through, backward point. It's again that length that's not really working for them. Or not. That's one way of uh, just showing what your business is. Uh, that's not working. That's not working. It's too good for that. Oh, it! Oh, it! And that seems to be outside. Oh, he's given. What I immediately thought was that it was perhaps going over. He's trying to unleash now, and he's had a full go, and that's powerful. A boundary. Brilliant stroke. Use of the feet, beautiful shot, extra cover, that's a wonderful shot. He was nowhere near the pitch of that ball, but he still played a great shot. Shot. Once again, you're not stopping this one. Don't bother running after that. Another boundary to finish the over. Man runs off it. Pull this, pull this. Oh no, he's hit it straight down his throat. Oh, we are so sorry, Mr. Shafiq. We put the markers on you. So sorry. He was a... That is a shot. I'll tell you what, that was dismissive. Yeah, plenty of disdain. Slower one again. It's going to be tough to hit those slower ones. Oh, that's gone through. The dive. He's just dived all over it. Yeah, that's not what we want from Sohel Khan. A little too short, a little too leg stumpish, and uh, the same result. Look at that. He just helped it on his way. So there's no worry for him. He, he's not working hard for these boundaries. They're just coming to him, and he's putting them away. This is like throwdown. There you go. Drive right through, mid off, and cover. They're being punished out here because they've just not been able to bowl a consistent length. Yes, uh, too much of movement in the box. First backing away, then trying to go across and play it down to fine leg. He's actually gifted that. Good thing for Musa is he didn't change his line. Starts with a slow ball that's long style. Big safety cut, and that's gone over the side screen. Mighty blow. And it could be uh, a second successive six, almost into the dugout of the Stallions. So, uh, i really not sure what to bowl here. You're in slower ball and uh, going for the hole there. And once again, and uh, there's an appeal and easy decision for umpire. Musa continuing from the media end. Could be a chance. Out in the deep. 
unable to get a hand on it. Just missed his length a little bit. Tries to go full again. Man that uh, short front leg didn't look too interested in stopping that. It uh, was a half-hearted effort by Sohel. He's ah. gone full, he's gone downtown and he finds a man at long off. Wicked for Sohel with his first delivery. Ah. That's what you got to do with those back of the length balls. Keep your shape. Wait for it. And a real distinct impression there. And that's what Iftikar did as he moves to 50. 53 of 26. And he also decides to go back of a length. Got the distinct impression that Iftikar was waiting for that, but he could not make the contact that he wanted. And the Stallions will definitely have that in your thinking. And how's that? How's that to finish it all? May just finishes it off with a brilliant pull over mid wicket. In swinger helped on its way, and that's a wonderful start. The dream start for the Warriors. Not the best of balls, just in swinger, right on the pads, helped on its way for four. Oh, he smashed it back up the ground. There is no messing about with this man. He's off the mark with another boundary, just as he did in the previous game. Just flick that on its way. What a beautiful stroke. Just use the pace of the bowler. Go straight back over the bowler's head. He didn't get all of it, but enough to go for four. Not an easy shot to play when the ball is coming into you. Slower ball's got him. Off the pad. That stops. He's trying to hit him over mid on. That was the option he was taking. That's better. That's great timing. Shot pitch. And another boundary in this over. Turning out to be a good one. This time, Hatherley wins it. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! If a batsman is so dialed in. Oh, chance of a run out direct hit. That is gone. That looks very, very gone. You can see by the gestures he had. What a clean pick up and throw from the keeper. Making sure that Hader Ali gets a fair amount of the strike, and that's why, because he's just cut that beautifully. Bisected those two fielders. That's a half tracker. That's got to be punished, and that's the boundary they were looking for. You have to finish well in an over where you've already been hit for a boundary. Has he on this occasion? No, he has not. That is straight to deep middle. Uh, his little brief innings of 10 of 7 comes to an end. And success for the Stallions. So the Warriors now, the depth of their batting will be tested. So, it's only going to be a single. Last over, decided to bowl Yamin out. So fourth over. Direct hit. That could be interesting. I think he's safe. I think he dropped the ball. Have a look in uh, just a second. There's been a couple of chances. Captain, what rates up? Right, so uh, he just took a while to get back to the stamps. On the move, trying to take it in front of the stamp. So there it looks like he's got control. So the TV out will have to decide is that ball making contact with the stamps or back of the hands without the ball? That's a tough call. It's close. We might have to see another angle. Definitely short of his ground. No doubt about that. It's all whether he had control or was it ball on stumps. We've seen quite a bit of evidence. What's he going to do? We wait with bated breath. Here it comes. Out. Oh, what a shot. That was a Yorker. And he somehow parted this through third man for four. That special stroke. 
there he goes straight that is a wonderful stroke and has gone all the way that's what they needed and he's asking for drinks and gloves and straight and far many a mile what a shot that is Gulam, yes he's coming to the party here just what they need Haider can't do it on his own here through extra cover this time wow he's got it he's on a roll here look at him go he's pumped up oh what a hit that was Haider Ali he spoke this one Oh, for toss. And it went flat. And it expands to that embankment. High for toss into the gap. Much needed boundary. He's still alight. Oh, nicely played once again. This is the best stroke for me, Hadar Ali has played. He waited on that slow delivery, made sure the ball arrived to him, and then hit the ball into the gap. Oh, no. Oh, no. again. Is there another twist in this tail? Oh, what a time to lose, Hadar Ali. Set batsman. Ah, uh, good usage of the feet. What a stroke. Very impressive batting from Kamran Pulam. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Warriors stays in the tournament. Their first victory. Two points for them. Oh, what a shot to finish the match. Kamran Pulam deservedly played that shot 117 six of the tournament heather ali was amazing what an incredible chase this has been for warriors indeed it required a herculean effort somewhat like what heather ali did 91 of 57 to stay alive in the tournament and don't forget kamran Ghulam's 41 of just 17 took everyone by surprise managing 190 for five in just 19.2 overs and staying in the tournament and making a place in the top four. Bark Stallion bowlers were feeling the pressure with some due factor around. They couldn't get wickets except for Amir Yamin who grabbed two, otherwise rest were hit for runs all over the park. In the end, the match summary says Bark Stallions won the toss, decided to bat first, posted 186 for seven with Shan Masood's 73 of 45, but a better performance was waiting. Either only 91, of 57, along with Kamran Ghulam, 41, not out of 17, help overseas warriors win this match by five wickets and jump up to number four position. Hope you've enjoyed the highlights of match nine of the SRG Kashmir Premier League. Until next time, it's goodbye.